Now we're gonna go do some alpha. We're gonna be doing wall trick mainly because a lot of people ask what's the best way to get guns and or save guns. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is essentially by using the wall trick because with that, you save both armor, weapons, medical supplies, and then you can just trade in the tickets, get guns, and it's a process you can just repeat uh, continuously. Which, even if you don't get the red ticket crates, you should be fine. You will be fine, actually, because you don't necessarily need the red ticket crate. Although you do get better guns, but you don't necessarily need them. Uh, let me see. I have all my tickets over there. Um, I gotta leave this stuff. It's just gonna be in the way. Throw those there. Boom, yeah, 46 shards. Not bad. Um, medical supplies looking good. Melee weapons looking good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open a red chest. Why not? I don't, it's, it's honestly really extremely rare when I do decide to open one. So I'm gonna open one just because. Now, hold on. 32. There we go. Well, actually, you know what? I'll take an even 30. <laughs> I don't know, something about it just leaving it uneven bugs me. With that, we'll take one of those. I want to say we might actually might actually even get a floppy disk with that with those fourteen. Um, melee weapons. I guess we're gonna take some of my favorites because why not? Um, that should be it. Honestly, we'll modify them because I don't think they're modified. Yep, they're not. Cool. And away we go. I'll leave myself stinking because it doesn't really matter if I stink or not. Um, it's kind of like, well, actually, yeah, I should probably shower. Only because I want to get some sneak attacks in, which with some sneak attacks, depending on the enemy and which melee weapon you are using, you can one shot an enemy. Depending. Uh, this poor fool doesn't know who he's messing with. Looks like he might even get a hit off. Oh yeah. Two hits. Follow me. Will they actually run into the... Right here, right here, right here. Oh, but I have this open. Ah, whatever. I'll leave him there. Whoops. Wrong button. Now let's get the alpha. <clears throat> all right and with that we're at alpha good stuff oh before i forget i need to sneak because <laughs> rolling into an enemy is not sneak attacking them and one-shotting them like so now it depends but with the saw blade mace active skill Sometimes you can one-shot this guy. Sometimes you can't. Um, it's a bit of RNG, honestly. Uh, if you're lucky, you take him out. If not, then, well, he's alive. And it looks like we're only halfway to the next floppy. Which is fine. I mean, I might as well just throw them in there. <laughs> if I would have brought the 30 stack of uh, the military notes, I think I would have actually gotten the floppy, too. Now let's go ahead and collect this stuff. Doesn't really matter. Oh man. Doesn't really matter what order they're in. Let me see. Might as well grab them. If you do use the saw blade mace, which is a long range melee weapon, you will kill this guy and then you can sneak the other guy. Bingo. Look at that. It's that easy. No hits. Now, give me the goods. Wrenches. Another thing people asked about during stream, best way to get wrenches. Wrenches can be found at Alpha, Airdrops, Red Zones, The Farm, Motel. It's rare when it's at the motel. Um, or Floppy Disk too. Uh, I mean, the guns are okay. At least we got some SWAT armor this time. 
And we got three acid. Cool. That's a whole sunken chest right there. Two pistols. Okay. Within the normal. Yeah. Basically, these are pretty normal. Nothing too crazy and too amazing, I guess you could say. <laughs> Go ahead and take the heals with me because that's all I really need for now. And let's roll. Here's the cheapest way to do Bunker Alpha. Actually, I mean, honestly, you could even do it with the level one clothing that you get from the green chest. Um, but I mean, you know, why not? We'll just go in with this. Um, I will say this though, however, if you do have the shotgun spread shot, use it here. Uh, it's by far the best place to use it. I'll be using the saw blade mace because this is gonna one shot everybody. There we go. And it reduces the amount of hits you actually take by a little bit, not a whole lot, because, well, of course, you do attack super slow with it. One shot, let's go. That's exactly what I was talking about, and that is amazing, actually. Come on. Out the room you go, and then I'll swap places with you guys, and I go inside the room. Oh, man. Looks like they can still hit. So I have to take out this guy, the first guy, in order to actually initiate the wall trick. There we go. Boom. Super easy, super fast. Um, but yeah, this is basically how you do it. Obviously, you avoid, you're supposed to avoid getting hit. Right there, I was kind of just doing it to get done fast. But if you want to save medical supplies and your armor, <laughs> avoid getting hit. Trust me. <laughs> Can I one-shot you? I can. Excellent. Whoa, I got stuck there for a second. There we go. I need you closer to the wall. No. There you go. You go out here. Boom. You can even risk getting hit only to get a whole critical on him. But, like I said, if you don't want to waste any little bit of your armor or medical supplies, don't get hit. Don't take the hit. It's better to avoid getting hit altogether, honestly. This guy's easy one hitter, quitter, good stuff. We'll take one out. Can I get a crit? I cannot. I only got a 60. Sad. Hello? There we go. Now, can I get a crit on one of you? Nope. Unfortunate. Let's see. I never open the laundry machines because they never really have anything useful. Another lefty little trick. You can, you can skip the turret that's down this aisle, which I'll show you in just a second. One hitter? Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Fog you. Whoops, I ran out too soon. You you can, like I said earlier, you can essentially wall trip just about anywhere. And number, in floor three, I'll show you a better example, which you can actually wall trick in the center pillar before the blind one's room. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'll show you once we get there, no worries. Boom, boom. Basically, in order to make this video a lot shorter and simpler, I will be sk skipping <laughs> most of this stuff so you don't have to, you know, watch all this stuff. So I'll be back once I, well, I'm alive and clear out the rest of floor two um, with melee weapons only. So give me a few minutes. I'm back for a little quick uh, snippet. Um, Here's the turret that I was talking about. If you hug the pipe, you basically are able to sneak around and get to these guys with ease. So there you have it. I hope this helps some of you that, you know, think you have to kill the turret. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, we're back. Wanted to do a quick little check-in. I just finished clearing the whole second floor. Um, we're up to level 57? I think we were there. Uh, we got 654 missile to, or holly from here because we started with 40. 
So now we're at 694. So yeah, we gained 654 just from the second floor, entirely beat. Now we're gonna go and do the third floor and then we're gonna do fourth floor and so on and so forth. But um, kind of wanted just to go back in here because I'm gonna show you guys exactly where I was talking about that you can wall trick super easily. Unfortunately, you can't do it here because there's a lack of wall space. But you have to go all the way over here, which over here there's plenty of space, as you can see. Now here you will be hit because, well, of course you got fast fighters you gotta deal with first. Those guys are usually, them and the toxic spitters are pretty annoying because they're really fast at attacking um, in comparison to, depending on what weapon you use actually. But I mean, you can manage to avoid them if you're quick enough. You just gotta make sure you're um, quick enough and then you'll be able to avoid their hits. Um, but basically this is so far what we got. Um, as you can see, my <laughs> my arm is already red, mainly because I did receive a few hits from the last few Frenzy Giants in the second floor. So yeah, unfortunately, we're up there on damage. Let's see if we can take this guy out with one shot. No, not even with a second one. Took three shots. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, to make the simpler, I'm gonna go straight to the spot where I told you guys you can wall trick at the center, which will be this column up here. Gotta take these guys out first though. Oh man, I moved too soon and they didn't let me use the active skill for the saw blade maze. Excuse me, I almost forgot what it was called. Excuse me. All right, here, right here is where you can wall trick. And let me show you. Uh, let me take out the little guy first, which is fairly simple. Uh, boom, and then this guy, grab his attention. Let's go, follow me. Would've been kind of crazy if I could've gotten two hits off on that guy, two sneak attacks. <laughs> so now we're gonna wall trick him right here. Boom, he's gonna hit the wall, bam. And there you go. Never ending cycle, he keeps hitting the wall, you keep hitting him. It's a pretty good spot, honestly. For both normal and hard mode, you can do this. But I mean, a lot of people didn't know about it. If you see the video, now you do. And I hope that helps. And with that, um, I'll be back once I clear the rest of the third floor completely. I should have done this sooner, <laughs> but um, I cleared out this room because I got a free grenade from these chests. And uh, these are the guys that are left. Although I should have included this sooner because I mean, some of you are probably gonna be like, oh, but well, you probably just used a gun or something. Well, I didn't, <laughs> but I didn't get him uh, on, I didn't record it when I blew them up, unfortunately. So here we are. <laughs> the only reason you can tell us that they were blown up is because they each had a hundred health left before they died. And as you may know, these guys usually have about 200. Oh wow, this guy didn't see me? No way. 300, my bad. And a grenade does 200 damage. So there you go. Um, this is gonna, this is a bad spot though, trick, because, well, clearly I can't get a hit off. Right here, I think this might be good. Yeah, perfect. Although the spitter was faster than me. Hold on. There we go. Oops. I'm not far enough from the wall. Far enough past the wall, my bad. I wonder if I can trick through these shelves. Um, I've never tried it, so I guess maybe I'll try. Hey, let me see. Uh, what's a good shelf? Maybe this one? Right here. No, that was a bad spot. Okay, right here. Okay, yeah, no, you can't trick through these shelves. Oh, well then. <sighs> and as you can see, I've been I've actually been using a lot more medkits than I should be. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. Mainly because I get to the point like this where I have, you know, very little health. 
and I get hit. Example eight being when I used the grenade, I had to use like two medkits because it's a lot of zombies. And to wipe them all with one grenade, it's pretty helpful. Extremely helpful, actually. Probably should have done this guy down here first. And I probably should have saved the grenade till I got these um, spitters over here in this one room. Mm. Oh well. It'll be fine. Ooh, a red ticket from this guy. Not bad, actually. Looks like we're gonna end floor three with about maybe 20 tickets. Red tickets to be exact, my bad. Gonna use one of these really quick, just in case he does hit me. Cool. It's these guys that, you know, you're gonna have to use medical supplies. Me specifically because I, I mean, as you can see, <laughs> I use the wall trick, but even I don't have it down perfectly. If you were to have it down perfectly, you wouldn't get hit once. Me, I still get hit. I still get smacked up by the big guys. So it's okay, you're not alone. It takes practice, a lot of practice. This is me after a few months of practicing the wall trick and I still get hit, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But uh, looks like I'm gonna have to be one trick, wall tricking them one by one. After I take out these guys, the last few guys in that room, I'll see what I'm at as far as uh, the holly. Because I want to complete the whole floor before I see how many I have. I think I had 690 something, I believe, after I finished floor two. 694 if I remember correctly. Um, because yeah, we did, we went up with 654. So yeah, 694 is what we started floor three with. Now, uh, oh, I was kind of hoping for a grenade, but I don't think this one gives grenades. It's cool. Hello. Now, unless you can get these guys synchronized, uh, it's gonna be more annoying. Well, fairly annoying, actually. Oops, wait. Yeah, they're not synchronized, as you can see. And I'm slightly, oh. I was slight, I was a little too slow, but I was kind of fast enough to, you know, avoid, you know, anything too critical. <laughs> now, show me what you got. Of course, nothing too great. <laughs> so now that floor three is completed in its entirety, how many did we get? So we went from 694 to 1500. Let me see, hold on. I can't do quick math. My math isn't that great. <laughs> Trust me. 694. Wait. 690. 694. We had 858. 858 um, Miss uh, Holly from floor three. That's 1500. So maybe another 900 if we're lucky, 1,000 from floor four. I guess we'll find out um, soon enough. But once I'm done with floor four entirely, once again, I'll come back in. All right, well, we're back and we're basically done with Bravo. I mean, with Bravo, whoa, let me not get ahead of myself really quick. <laughs> we'll get done with Bravo later on, but for now, we're basically done with fourth floor bunker alpha. This is all on normal mode. Um, I did have to grab a shotgun and two M16s for three turrets, two normal ones, and one heavy turret because those are kind of impossible to get through unless you, you know, want to run the risk of dying. So, kind of had to waste technically speaking, three guns because I used a shotgun with spread shot. 
they cleared some of the rooms that had uh, multiple zombies to do this faster. And then I used two M16s, one for a heavy turret, the other one for the other two turrets, regular turrets. Grab all this stuff. I mean, not the greatest loot, but I mean, it's good loot. So I'll take it. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember how many I had from third four, but with this one, yeah, so we basically have around almost 2,000. We had about 1,500 maybe, right? Maybe? So we got roughly 1,966 from normal mode, second, third, fourth floor, all with just melee weapons, which is not bad. I mean, that's still pretty good, honestly. Now, I mean, I'm gonna grab some of these guns, gotta go home, grab some actual, well, I, I don't, I was gonna say armor, but I don't need armor. I have armor from here. But I was gonna say, uh, go home, maybe grab some food and stuff like that so my guy doesn't die along the way and um, start taking some of this stuff home. So with that, give me a few minutes and then I'll start the process to do the Funker Alpha hard mode second floor. Um, I'll check in with you guys after I have second floor completely finished. And once again, we're back basically at the end of um, the second floor hard mode of Bunker Alpha. And as you can see, I brought a few guns because, <clears throat> excuse me, hard mode is just a slightly, well actually no, let's not, let me not sugarcoat it. <laughs> hard mode is actually much more difficult than, um, significantly more difficult than normal mode, clearly. But um, mainly just to get through this fast and to get some extra stuff done faster, like taking that guy out instead of waltering him, you can just shoot him through the fence. Um, I don't know if any of you remember this, but before, I want to say before season one, actually, um, you were able to hit him through the fence with a saw blade mace. <laughs> But since then, uh, it's become a thing of the past and you are no longer able to actually hit him through the fence. Let's see. These guys, will, one of these will, guys will hit me. Um, right here? No. Hold on. Let me go back because I didn't even check how much holly I got. <clears throat> kind of hoping he wouldn't be able to reach me. But it's okay. We'll be fine. Now, I'll run back here. The thing is, they reset as well. So, let's see how much Holly we got. 2,500. So, we got almost a thousand. Well, a little under a thousand. We got like 800. 900. Yeah, we almost we got almost 900 actually. Not bad. So it's basically about the same. The hard mode doesn't really increase your chance to have more holly. So we have 1,000. I mean 2,500 now. Let's see how much we get after these guys. So once again, once I do complete the third floor, including. Uh, I mean, for the sake of the video, I will complete the whole floor three. Uh, I probably will not complete floor four or even start floor four because eh, I don't like floor four. <laughs> Let's see. Organize some stuff. Take this guy out. Basically, what I do with third floor normally um i usually just go to the last frenzy giant that is literally on the other side of this um passageway i guess you could say 
and uh, and then come back and then leave. That's it. And with that, I usually end up with like 35-ish, maybe, or so. Obviously, including the blind one. The blind one's dead. <clears throat> so with that, um, I'm going to go finish the rest of these. All, all of the zombies here in this section. And then once I get to the blind one, I will cut back in and uh, basically show you how far I go with... Uh, third floor usually normally but like I said for the sake of the video I will be completing the third floor entirely to see how much we get all right cool we're basically finishing up the blind one um, you don't necessarily need uh, guns but you kind of do need armor as you can tell <laughs> otherwise he does 50 damage a pop uh, I mean I had armor for like the first half of this fight and then it kind of just poof i just disappeared now like i was telling you guys this is basically i do this i take out that frenzy giant the one down here in this door back here and then the one at the end of this hallway right here those are the only guys that i take out and then i run back upstairs and that's it that's literally all I do for this floor normally, but like I said, for the sake of the video, we will be doing the whole floor three to see how much we get. So, I mean, with that, I'm basically going to go back upstairs, grab some armor, come back down specifically here, and then uh, I'll check in once I finish completely, once I finish floor three in its entirety. So bear with me, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Sweet. Now that we're finally done with uh, everything, uh, my armor is basically disintegrated because, uh, yeah, I had to go through this room, unfortunately. And this time I didn't have a grenade, sadly. <laughs> Otherwise, the grenade would have come in clutch, honestly. Uh, I would have probably, probably destroyed the spitters. But um, that's what's left of my armor. Now, I had 3,500 when I last checked. Do I have 4,000? I don't. Wait, no, I didn't have 30. I had... Dang, I forgot already. <laughs> I should have taken a picture of it. I probably got like 400 though. I'm guessing. I got 400 for the rest of that. That's not bad, I guess. <clears throat> uh... Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> now, uh, I'm basically done with this one. I have 3480. I'm probably, hopefully, going to get anywhere from 20... Like, I was on a stream the other day, yesterday specifically. I can You can get anywhere from 2500 to 29, maybe 3000. It basically depends on... Um, excuse me, on which zombies you run into. So let's see if hopefully we can run into some good zombies. If not, we're probably gonna get like not enough. <laughs> By enough, I mean not anywhere near 6,000. But fingers crossed, we do get well over 61, 6,200. Now I'll see you guys as soon as I begin Bravo and once I'm fully prepared. All right, here we are. Um, basically, going in with what we got here. Mm, honestly, not the greatest items. I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> Specifically this. I probably should just delete that. And I should have probably just deleted that. And, you know, take, bring brought some SWAT armor with me. But it's okay. I believe, I think we will... I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna die. If I don't change it now, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Guaranteed. First room, as soon as I start, I will die. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and swap armors. Unfortunately, I don't think this is enough to complete all full, all second, third, and fourth floor. <sighs> <clears throat> but I guess we'll have to find out and see. 
like I said, I will be basically checking it back in once I have um, completed the second floor. So right now we're starting at 3480 and let's see how many we get after the first floor. Let me write this down before I do forget. 3480. Cool. Deactivating turrets, opening safety systems, and I'll be back once floor two is donezo. We're finally done with floor two. Um, not in the best condition, <laughs> as you can see. But we had 3480 when we started. Now we have 4171. So we got 691, basically almost 700. 4171. <clears throat> Let's see how much we get from the third floor. Third, so opening locks, I activate the system and I'll be back. What's up, we're back and with more guns because well, if you weren't able to tell, we died <laughs> uh, in Dr. Dredd's room, unfortunately. So I had to go home. Oh, well, obviously I was sent home and I came back with extra guns just in case. Um, but with what we got, we should be able to complete it now. Uh, as far as what we got, we basically got a thousand. We started at 4171. <laughs> we nearly got a thousand coupon or holly from that one. <clears throat> Last room, opening locks and patrol cancel, I believe, if I remember correctly, for fourth floor. Cool. Now then, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Get rid of the parasites. Ignite. Ooh, there's a juggernaut and a fetid corpse, bro. Oh, no. Well, we got the juggernaut at least. <laughs> Don't fart again. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, man. Hey there, big guy. Take that guy out. And I'll be back once I finish the whole floor. So give me a few minutes and I'll have it completed. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> and with that, we're finally done with the fourth floor. Looks like I didn't need, well, actually four guns. Well, yeah, technically I didn't even need the four extra guns I brought. We would have been okay. Now, other than that, I mean, basically this can stay here. Everything else is going home with me. Everything except, well, I'll bring everything home because everything now can be useful. <laughs> Take those. Excuse me. I'm going to go upstairs. Mm, actually, hold on. This. Um, and now once I come back, I'm only taking this. This. Actually, these five items, six items. This is what I'm taking home when I come back. I should have plenty of space. Eight slots in the chopper plus the gas tank. That's already nine slots available to take home. Speaking of, we haven't even checked to see, you know, how many uh, Holly, Holly Jollies we've gotten. <laughs> so let me check that. Uh, in the meantime, gonna make space. And now then, we started with we started floor three with forty one seventy one. I should have about five thousand, somewhere close to there. Now, how well I'll bring this because it might be useful in the sewers. <clears throat> now then, moment of truth, how much? Did I actually get from the fourth floor? Because, like I said on stream, it it varies on the type of zombies you do get. The type of zombies you get in the per floor is how what affects how many points you get total. And we we're literally just short of six thousand. <laughs> so from floor four, we got let's see, we got one thousand six hundred and sixty-six. 
from floor four. Dang. That's a lot, actually. Let me take some of the extra stuff. I'll leave this here and bring some of this. Mm. I kind of need everything here. I mean, we have space in the chopper. Let me throw something else in there. Because <laughs> I kind of want to take all the plastic home. Hello? There we go. Cool, cool. And now for basically the sake of science and just so everybody knows how much holly you get from each zone, I will be wasting some rations per zone so like you can see how much ra how much holly you actually get per zone. From red zone, if I remember correctly, you get five you five rations. Five rations? Yes, five rations gives you a hundred jolly. Right? Five rations gives you a hundred jolly. This one gives you fifty. 50 and the green zone gives you 10 20 cool and then doing that one I, I don't even remember how much that one gives you bunker alpha gives you 250 if you ration it and don't do the floors the pd if you don't do it it gives you 175 we actually got an uzi wow that's actually really rare um motel you 10 rations you get 125 holly from there the farm gives you 250, 200. That's not bad. Uh, this red zone gives you 150. This one gives you 250. Okay. The yellow one gives you 200. And I'm guessing this one gives you like about 150, 125. That's not bad. Overall, it's not bad locations. And I mean, these are obviously the same as the pine wood locations. And these are the only locations you can ration. Other than that, same strange factor, you can't ration. You can't ration Bravo, clearly. You can't ration the forest. So that's all the rations you can use. You can't use the rations. Okay, yeah, you can't use the rations on the port. I was about to say. It would have been kind of crazy. But overall, I mean, now after all those, one of each, one at each location, we have location. My bad. English is hard, sorry. <laughs> after using one on each, Location, we have 7,482, which is actually really good. <clears throat> now, I'm going to see, I'm going to go home, basically organize all this stuff that I have. Um, and the next time you guys will see me stream will probably, hopefully, like I said, be Monday. Uh, if all goes well, if not, I'll probably do like a Tuesday and thursday stream because i think that's those are the days that the port does reset for me it'll reset tuesday and then one and then thursday again and then again on january the 2nd of 2021 so if all goes well i'll see you guys in a few days hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time